Hello everyone and welcome to the third laboratory work on civil engineering CAT. So today we will start with construction lines and construction lines used to find alignments between two objects. So here we have a front view of the house and let's draw a sectional plan using construction lines. Construction line can be activated from drawing line or by command X line. So now we have to select which construction line we'd like to use. In this case we will use vertical one. Type V and specify points. And now we are moving of drawing sectional plan. So we draw rectangular. Then let's make uh, exterior walls using offset. And now as we have uh, construction lines, we can place windows and doors in the right place. And when we finish, construction lines can be removed. Ok, the next one is point tool. It can be activated from drawing panel or by command uh, point. So here you just click on area where you have to place your points. Ok, we can see that points is almost invisible, so we go to the format and uh, go to the point style to change it. So here you can select the style and the size. Let me select this one. Now we can see that our points are more visible. Points are useful to divide the objects on segments. Ok, let's remove these points. Now let's draw a circle. Then activate uh, divide command from drawing panel. Select the circle and enter the number of segments. Let's make it 6. And here we have a circle divided in 6 equal segments. Ok, let's see one more example with a line. So we draw a line uh, with a distance 1 meter. Activate command divide. Select the line. And let's divide it to 5. And so here it is a line with 5 segments. Ok, now let's move to the hot grips. So let me draw a square with a 6 to 6 meter. Grips can be very useful to activate commands. For example, here I click on the object. And uh, on the midpoints, on the corners, you can see red points. So it's our hot grips. So using clips, for example, I can stretch uh, the square and make it rectangular. And I can stretch it in any direction, in any angle. Ok, let's extend it to the 3 more meters. So I stretch to the right side, type 3 and press enter. Uh, using corner hot grips we can add, remove or extend our vertex and here we also can add the vertex we can convert a line to the arc to the, our required radius ok, let's see one more example let's draw a circle with radius 2 so clicking on the hot grips you can easily change the radius if you click on the center, you can move the object. Also, by right-clicking on the center, you can activate other commands as uh, rotate or copy. So let's select the copy. So again, as usual, select the base point. And for this, let's select the center. And we can copy our circle. OK, the next one is a scale command. It can enlarge or reduce the object, but by keeping the proportion of that object. It can be activated from modify panel or by command SC. So we select the object, then select the base point. And now, as we can see, we can enlarge or reduce our object. We can specify the scale if we want to enlarge it in two. We just type 2. In case if you want to reduce it, you can type 0.5. Ok, the next is hatching, which fills uh, with patterns enclosed area. Ok, here let's uh, fill with some pattern our exterior wall. Hatch command can be activated from hatch panel or with command H. 
From the open visor, we can select uh, different patterns of the hatches, such as brick, concrete, and so on. Okay, for our example, let's select the simple solid with a green color. And now just fill the area which we would like to fill. Okay, now let's talk about block. So in block you can create one object from several objects. Then you can reuse it in other drawings. Okay, let's draw a small window. So now we can activate block from block panel or type P in command bar. On a period window, firstly we type the name of the block, then select our objects, then select the pick point, you can select any point in your object, and click on create block. Now we can see that window was converted to the block. So when we need it, we can go to the block tab, and there we'll find our window. So we can just drag it to our drawing area. And block can be rotated or copied. Also, some blocks can be found from the library of the block tab. Okay, now let's move to center line and center mark. So center line can create a center line of selected lines. Okay, let's draw a rectangle. Now we select center line from draw tab. Select our first and second line. And here we have specified center line in horizontal lines of our rectangle. So next for center mark, let's draw a circle. Then activate the command center mark and select the circle. And here we can see exactly the center mark of our circle. Okay, let's move to the distance and area. So by activating distance command, I can quickly measure the distance from this point till this point. So here 4.9. And by activating area command, I can define the area of this rectangle. So here we can see that the area is 46.6. Okay, now let's move to the layers, which helps you to organize your drawings. By using different layers, you can group similar objects. Okay, let me create several layers with different colors, such as door, window, hatch, text, dimension, and interior. By double-clicking we can activate our layer, and now in layer door we can outline the door. Ok, now let's activate the window layer, and let me delete these windows. So now we can outline our window. Ok, the next layer is hatch. So here we can see we can turn off some layers without deleting them. And now let's move to the dimensions. We can activate dimension line from dimension tab, then specify first extension line and the second one. You can go to the dim style command to change some properties. Go to the gear tool and select the modify. Here you can do some adjustments like the lines, uh, the size of text, the size of symbols. So here I will change the precision in the primary units. Here is the example of diameter dimension. And here is the example of dimensioning of aligned lines. And we can also show the dimension of the angle. And now let's move to the text. It can be activated in text panel or by typing MT. So select the area for your text and then you just type your text and save it. And now to save your work uh, on PDF, select the plot command uh, in the toolbar and select save as PDF. So our laboratory work is completed. Thank you for watching the video. Bye!